So let's start from our login user function here. And what we are going to do is first we want to display some uh, notification to our user that he knows what's going on. So again, we are going to use our progress AGD here. And we say show. And we are going to show the status here. And string here is going to say login. So our user sees that something is happening here. Then uh, we are going to access our f user class and we are going to call a function login user with email and we are going to pass our email which is our email text field dot text and since it's an optional value we need to unwrap this. The password is password text field dot text. Again, uh, it's an optional, so I'm going to unwrap this. Um, we are unwrapping this safely because we know that our login function will never be called if email or password text fields have no value there. So it's safe for us to unwrap. Um, uh, this is. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm calling the register part function here. We need to say login user with email and password. So again, email text field dot text and wrap and password is password text field dot text. And here we have completion and we are passing an error here. So our variable name is error. And first, um, this code here will be uh, called once our uh, Firebase tries to log in our user. So what we need to do is to check if we have any error back. So we say if error is not equals nil, it means we have some kind of error. And I want to show this error. So I say progress agut dot show error and the status uh, which is our error message is actually we can access our error uh, variable and wrap this because we are sure that we are checking it's not nil and then we say localized description so this kind of translates what the error means to human language and since we have an error we don't want to continue running any code here so we say return okay so this is in case we have error if we have no error we need to uh, present the app. So let's, uh, as I promised, we are going to use these uh, functions and uh, every time we use them I'm going to tell you what's going on there. So in order to go uh, to find this uh, where the function is, we're going to say option click on it. Um, and let's say jump to the function here. So we have the login user function. We are using email and password to login and then we have completion. So this is the kind of callback. Once everything is done, uh, we are calling this callback and letting know what's going on there. So we are passing an error. And we have this uh, Firebase authentication and uh, we are using this. This is the Firebase login function. So it's called sign in with email and password. And this function has a callback again. If it's successful, it returns a Firebase user and an error. So we have these two variables. So we check if we have an error, we call our callback function and we pass our error here and we return so the rest of the function is not called. If, however, uh, there are no errors, so we get back a Firebase user here, which uh, I will show how, you, how it looks once um, actually I can demonstrate it here with my ready project if we go to authentication here uh, this is the all information we have about our Firebase user these are Firebase user so this is the email then we have the created sign in date and user ID so uh, what we are going to do actually is uh, because this user ID is unique for uh, the application 
so each user will have his own unique ID. We are going to uh, create an F user object that has all these parameters to it. Okay, and because here we can have only uh, email and the uh, user ID, but we need a lot more. So what we're going to do is to create our own user object and save it in the database. So we uh, use this uh, unique ID to, uh, to match our created user that will be saved in Firebase database and the authenticated user here that we have. So when we actually log in, uh, let's go to the function here. When we call this login function, what it does, it, it returns this user. So we have a useful thing here, the user ID, and uh, this is the user. And we are going to use this uh, F user that we uh, get it. And using the user ID, we are going to call a function uh, fetch current user from Firebase. So if we jump to this function, which is here, and we are passing the user ID, so what we do is we go check uh, where our reference is. So we go under our database here. And uh, the path we are passing is we are searching in our users. So uh, we are here. So under our users, we are looking where the document um, has the user ID that we are passing. So this is the unique ID of our users here. We have four users and the unique ID. 4ZZ, if we go to authentication, you can see the 4ZZ user ID starts, it's the user tree. So in our database, if we are using uh, searching for the user, uh, under our users uh, collection, we have the document here with the, you can see the email is uh, user tree. So um, what we do here is, we try to get this user from our Firebase uh, Firestore and we get this user object and then we save this to our local uh, user defaults. If uh, first we check if we have something saved in our user uh, under our collection user with uh, such an ID. If we have it, we get it and we save it locally in, uh, as our current user. So later on, we can use it. So this is uh, what's going on when we are logging uh, to our, using the login user with email and password.